My friend Kevin Sachs asked me if I could make wall cutouts of Gene and Louise from Bob's Burgers. I'm part of this! I felt bad that Bob, Linda, and Tina weren't going to be a part of the mix, but I let go of the guilt and decided I'd take the job. For this project, I'm going to be using a jigsaw, a bandsaw, and a palm sander. You could probably get it done with just a jigsaw, or you could just print the picture off the internet and uh, tape it to your wall. That works too. Anyway, this is how I did it. Check it out. Tell me about it, stud. <laughs> First thing I did was draw out the pictures so you could just print them off and trace them. Then I photocopied them to make them a little larger. You want to make out? Okay, on three. One, uh... Once I had my drawing, I brought it outside and I spray painted the back of the paper because I did not have any transfer paper. Transfer paper would work better, but letting the spray paint get a little tacky and then laying it down and tracing over all your lines will make the lines transfer over to your plywood. Can't see them right there and I could barely see them, so I had to go over them with a pencil just to darken them up a bit before I started cutting them out. And speaking of cutting them out, here I am using my jigsaw to cut out the basic shape before I move over to the bandsaw. Hey, and now we're on the bandsaw. Perfect. This is so hard! You're doing good, you're doing good. Come on, try it with me. The zero clearance disc thing on my bandsaw is missing, so I just slide that little piece of plywood over to take care of that. How's your penis? It's okay. Mine's a nightmare if anyone's wondering. Then I did a quick light sanding on all the parts, and it was time to start spray painting them. And when I didn't have the right color of spray paint, I just found some... What is that kind of paint called? Opaque? No. What is it called? Acrylic? Yes, acrylic. Oh my god, I never noticed how annoying you are. I can't even understand what you're saying. After I had everything painted, it was time to trace the faces onto the wood. So I cut out the faces so I could make sure they were lined up in the right places on the wood. And using some transfer paper, I transferred the faces on. And then using some paint pens, I colored everything in. This project is really simple. I've done a ton of these. I've done He-Man, Skeletor, Itchy and Scratchy, Beavis and Butthead, King of the Hill. They make for a good gift. They also sell pretty good at a craft fair. I used some PL glue to glue them onto a really janky piece of wood. I just put a couple coats of that clear uh, polyurethane, is it? I don't know. You know what I mean. And that's it. There's Louise and Jean. I thought they came out pretty good. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, see you again, and have a good dream. If we see any mermaids, I'm going to ask them where their merginas are.